In this video, we are going to briefly explore the value in locating and rec recognizing academic content at this level of research. Being able to identify quality resources is a crucial part of the research process, as you will be challenged to parse through a wealth of information, not only on the web, but in Salmon Library's databases as well. Let's say you are seeking out information to fortify an argument you are making, or perhaps learn a new fact or skill. You want sources that you'd classify as good, quality, or reliable, right? Of course you do. You often will need to locate the, that information in the form of articles published in various periodical titles. There are two basic categories to be aware of when evaluating the uh, articles and publications you find in your research. Academic content and popular content. Instead of seeing information as simply good or bad, consider if the content you are reading has been fact-checked by experts with soundly documented research methods, or if the content conveys information in a more editorialized format. <clears throat> While you've probably heard the terms magazines and journals before, you may not have known that they are not necessarily referring to the same thing. They both are indeed periodicals, meaning they are published serially or sequentially. However, the term magazine is often used to refer to more popular or entertainment-focused publications, whereas journal is meant to imply the content within is written to inform or educate the reader based on trustworthy, fact-checked research. Let me recommend some basic criteria to watch out for when evaluating sources. Then we'll take a look at an example of each. I'll show you how to look these up for yourselves in another video, but let's just focus on identifying some characteristics for now. If something is considered popular or non-scholarly, it is often in the magazine category. These are titles written primarily to sell copies entertain the reader, and perhaps inform them along the way. Look at the author's credentials as well. The articles within these titles are written by journalists who may or may not be subject matter experts, and they answer to an editor who is calling the shots on what gets published. Now, while most academic titles also have an editor or editors, the popular titles don't require the articles submitted by these journalists to be fact-checked by multiple subject experts, and that's a key part of this evaluation process. These popular publications also will have a number of advertisements throughout. So if you see several ads, you're almost assuredly reading a non-academic article. Also, look for a bibliography or a work cited page at the end of the article. Does it have one? If not, probably not an academic article. Time Magazine is a good example of a popular title. As for the academic criteria, you may also hear the words scholarly, refereed, and peer-reviewed tossed about. These all mean the same thing, i.e., scholarly articles indicate that this content has gone through an extensive review process before being accepted and published. You should not see any advertisements in these journals, as they are written to inform you about a topic rather than sell you a product. The authors of these articles should also be written by subject experts. So, while an editor may still be a part of the process, the articles have to pass the scrutiny of a handful of subject experts, typically university professors or researchers in that discipline, before being cleared to publish in that journal. Another thing to watch for is the format of the articles. For example, an academic article will often have a recognizable layout. You'll see a deliberate sectional division between areas such as an introduction, methods used, results discovered, and conclusions and references. Uh, this will leave you a roadmap back to the sources they themselves used. While not always so tidily arranged, if you do see this format, you are likely headed in the right direction. Some examples of that might be Nature or the Journal of Physics. Remember these basic criteria and look for them as you locate articles. Check out our other videos to learn more about the peer review process that academic content goes through, as well as how to use our databases and web tools to find this stuff for yourself. Also, when in doubt, ask one of your librarians. We're here to help.